Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm here in the car in California, United States of America, and I'm here in Auburn, California. Um, I have some thoughts in my mind, so the thoughts that I have today, you know, those of you at my age who have children who have already become adults, I can't even believe I'm at that age. It's unbelievable. I'm, I'm here. I have arrived. I'm going to be 50. And it's just like, wow, it went by so fast. I'm just like, wow. Oh, man. Wow. Um, cool. It's just like, man, just like that. And it makes you think. Your life just goes by, and you want to make sure every single minute of your life is used for something meaningful, profitable, and not hopefully for yourself, but for others. Um, I don't know about you, but you know, obviously, we all have regrets. I have some regrets in my life, but I'll tell you, I want to live in a way that I can get to my deathbed and say, you know, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I did that, and I'm glad I did that. No matter how, and and I can honestly say, I am so grateful for the things that God has given me and for the things that he has helped me accomplish throughout my life so far. I'm just overwhelmed with joy and with blessings beyond comprehension. And, and I see blessings in the trial. So I'm not talking like everything has been a bed of roses. But what I want to talk about is you with children who are, who are adults or teenagers. I, I can honestly say that I don't remember. People say the teenagers are the worst situation. I mean, that it's the worst on the planet. I can honestly say that I don't remember any of those. My kids went through the, their teens. I had the most amazing time with my children. My daughter, Brianna, I just adore her and love her to death. I'm so proud of her. She's an awesome daughter. And also my, my son, Brendan, I, he was never in any way um, a problem uh, above two years old. You know, he went through the terrible twos a little bit, but that was, I only remember a couple times. He was an awesome child. He was an awesome teenager. He was absolutely amazing and uh, in a good way. I'm so proud of him. With that being said, our children can be our fans, but they can also be the, the most critical people on the planet. You know, they find fault with us that no one else can find fault with. So. I just want to put on record, I'm very thankful for my son and his helping me grow as a father, uh, you know, as I'm a grandfather now, and that he he's pointed and blunt with the things that he says about my negative characteristics. I want him to tell me, and I appreciate him so much because, you know, there's nothing more important than developing our character for heaven. Um, what a what a necessity that is and what a responsibility we hold in our lives for our kids so uh, my life has been interesting in that I really I made a stand way back that I am going to live my life for love and compassion forgiveness empathy and I'm not gonna force people to do things I'm not going to use manipulative tactics I have this this stance in my life of never, never, never give up. It's on my my business card, my, my calling card, as the Filipinos say, calling card. But um, never give up. What does that really mean, never give up? Does that mean that I fight and fight and never give up fighting? Actually, not giving up, a lot of it has to do with not fighting. I mean, you don't win every battle by fighting. Sometimes... You win it through embracing the person who is against you or after you or um, bending over in a way to death to yourself, bending over backwards to help that person if, if you want to use that terminology. Um, really thinking about them, the Bible says, to him that would go with thee a mile, go with him twain. Well, he that asked of thee to go with him a mile, go with him twain. Uh, to him that asks of thee to borrow of thee, um, give, give, so to him that asks of thy coat, give him thy cloak also. So this is Matthew 5 and Luke 6 also. It says the same thing. It starts out with the Beatitudes, uh, the Sermon on the Mount, but then it goes into 
Well, that's, that's the beginning. It's part of it. Jesus upset the Pharisees because everything that they thought was right to do, he went and told them the opposite. And I see that today with our, our youth and our modern society and the way that we are taught through the psychologists, the psychologists that are out there. My father always told me, be very weary and aware of the fact that psychologists out there are, they learn the mind of humans and they know how to, to make it think the way they want them to think. And um, wow, have I learned that to be the case, it's true. So there's so much to learn in life. Life is just an amazing opportunity to learn. Uh, I think the most dangerous thing is to think that we know it all or to think that we know anything at all. So I'm constantly learning. I, I'm so thankful for my kids teaching me and um, for just you, you who watches this teaching me. Thank you so much. Um, I committed early in life never to drink never to smoke, never to use drugs, never to eat anything that had a face or came from a face, but to stick strictly to a Garden of Eden diet. And I'll tell you, my life has been so blessed. I committed to never going to the hospital for sickness, never taking a medicine, never spending money on any of that. If I die, so be it. My life is in God's hands. There's a song, my life is in your hands. Have you heard that song? Our lives truly are in God's hands and we need to do the best we can to take care of our health. Drink water, pure water, breathe clean air, not cigarette smoke or marijuana smoke, but just to, to take care of our body. I'll tell you what, kids and youth, um, if you do that, you will have an amazing life. Now, I have a little red here because of sunburn in my eye, but that's what it is. It's called a trigium. I'm gonna have that scraped off with a diamond. I've got an appointment for that. So, God bless you all. That's it. That's my uh, little just thoughts for today. I had a flat tire. Got it fixed here a little bit ago. And uh, had a wonderful talk with my son. And he's really thinking. He really loves his son, my grandson. And it's been four months since he's seen him. And he, he doesn't want to neglect him. He thinks about him every single day. And every single day he's doing something to try to see his son. But... Um, Little Wayne's mother hasn't allowed that. So we're, we're just really, really desperate to try to figure this out. And um, yeah. Anyway, God bless you guys for watching. Please share my channel. And I've got boxes here for the Philippines. I've got Bibles and some other really awesome books. And one box is an entire uh, business industry. It's a, a haircutting business with including this the sink that you wash your hair with and stuff is in the box and